Hello, my name is Sasha Courtney Jenner and I am a course director for the Level 3 Children's Play Learning and Development at the College of West Anglia. Hi, I'm Sophie Brearley and I'm course director here at the College of West Anglia Kings Lynn for the Level 3 Children's Play Learning and Development. Uh, previous to working at the college, I worked for Norfolk County Council in the Early Years Advisory Team and have also had experience working in a preschool uh, as a manager and a school as a teacher assistant. Before working at the college, I worked at a local nursery in Kings Lynn for 14 years. And my predominant um, experience is working in early years with children from the age of two to four and a half in preparation for reception. The structure of the course is based over two years. So there is year one and year two. Three days a week at college, two days a week at a work placement. A typical day at the College of West Anglia for a student would be to arrive at 8.45 and to finish at Huppers Four. There are a number of lessons that you'll attend in that day with different tutors and you would potentially come in um, and study your first class would be on outdoor play, then you'd have a break and your second class would be on child development, then you'd have lunch with your friends and then in the afternoon you would have a session on keeping children safe and then uh, children's personal social and emotional development and then your day would finish at Harpers Four. There are times where you may have private study and that's timetabled into your week and that means that you would either study at home or you would go to the LRC and study as well. So it's quite busy when you come to the college for a student and the structure of the day is quite busy so if you're prepared to work hard come join us at the college. As part of the course requirements, you have to complete 750 hours work placement over two years. This um, is a BTEC requirement. The best part about this is that you get to have experience in a baby room, a toddler stroke preschool room, and then a reception or year one class in a primary school. So this is the best part about the course. It's really fun. It gives you the practical experiences that allows you to link the theory that you're learning in the classroom to the practice that you're doing on your work placement. The staff on the programme are so supportive of your learning and your needs. As I've said, we have a wealth of experience in early years and working with children. So if you do have any concerns or worries, we can support you with proofreading your work, we can signpost you to skills development, and we can help you with some pastoral care because we have a fantastic student services department too. So college is quite different to school. Uh, we really like to treat you as independent young adults. Your learning is uh, in your control. It is up to you to put as much effort as you possibly can into your learning. This will include learning at home uh, and also some self-study whilst at college. Uh, you can also meet new people whilst at college. So you've obviously been at school for a long time with the same people. So it's a really lovely opportunity for you to meet new people from different areas um, in Norfolk. You should study the Level 3 Children's Play Learning and Development at college because the progression route would take you either straight out into the world of work or onto a university where you could become a primary school teacher, you could go into nursing, social work, midwifery, speech and language therapy, the list is endless. The staff at the course that teach on the Children's Play Learning and Development are exceptionally qualified. We have a wealth and experience of backgrounds and knowledge which is why you should come to study at the college. So why come to college and study at the level three program at Kings Lynn? So uh, we offer uh, lots of different opportunities for you as I said already we've talked about work placement, we have uh, external guest speakers come in from the industry to um, give you some ideas of jobs that you can do after college but also to um, enlighten you into their experiences. We have lots of external activities that you can um, get involved in whilst at college, uh, which helps you to build new friendships externally to college. To gain a place on the course, you have to have at least five GCSEs at level four or above, preferably English and maths at level four. Uh, if not, you have to have English or maths at level four. That means that if you don't have both, you will have to study your English or maths whilst at college alongside your programme of study. Another requirement of the course is that you will have to have a DBS check 
Uh, at the moment, this is approximately £50 per person um, and you might be entitled to some funding uh, to support you with this. This is to ensure that you are safe to work uh, with children when on work placement. The progression uh, rate and success for our students is phenomenal. I would say 70% of our students go on to university, leaving the other 30% going out into the world of work. Most of our students will go on to study become, to become primary school teachers. Some have gone on to study to become social workers, nurses. But the success rate when the students come here on the children's play learning and development is phenomenal.